Hey guys, it's Julie and I'm back with another unboxing of a tried and true box. Um, so I'm a seller on Poshmark and my closet name is Swalker Kate 79. So that's S W K E R K A T E 79. Um, I thrift and resell my own items, my daughter's items, and items I find thrifting. And I've also discovered tried and true. And this is my second boxing or unboxing. And um, I do want to share it with you guys. Excuse my appearance. I'm fighting the Kentucky allergy season. So I may be um, coughing and hacking a little bit as I do this. I did order two boxes. So I, the last box that I unboxed um, was my initial box. This time I ordered two different boxes. And I guess in my mind I was thinking they would come in two boxes, but they came together in one box. And so I don't know if these are gonna be together or if it's just gonna be a mix of everything in one box. So I ordered um, the premium brands, so a $1,000 premium brand box, and then I ordered the plus size box. So there should be a total according to my um, inventory sheet here, which I, again, absolutely love. Um, I should have 40 items for a total value of $2,612.07, and I paid $500, which is $250 a box. So we're, we'll just go into it, and I'll see if I can figure out if it's from the premium brands box or if it's from a plus size box. So again, I've just opened it and unboxed it. This again is right on the top. It tells me what I'm getting, um, what the retail value of that is, and then what I actually paid for it. Um, on the top here, this says Lululemon. It's black. Let's look on my list here. Oh, it's pants and it's a size 16. Um, but it's showing on my premium brands list. So I got a plus size. Um, it's still in the plastic. So this doesn't even count as one of my plus size items. Plus size items do sell pretty fast. Um, much better than the smaller sizes. So anytime you can get a bigger size, that's a win. Um, these have a retail value of $98. And it looks like they're a black legging um, from Lululemon size 16. Soma size medium, so this is going to be pajamas. It looks like it's just the top, unless the bottoms are down in here in a different bag. So that's less than exciting. Um, Soma pajamas would sell well, but um, separately not so great. Um, it tells me that it has a $44 value. So a size medium pajama top. White House Black Market size 4. High rise skinny ankle jeans in black. And they have a retail value of $89. Still in the bag. Still got the tags. Sealed up. Those are good. These are men's jeans. Um, waist 29, length 30. The uh, Abercrombie and Fitch Vintage Stretch 90s Straight Jean. And it has a retail value of $70. It's in the bag. Tag still attached. So that's a men's item that was from so far so far everything's been from the premium brands box and so they must have put the plus size in the bottom and then the premium brands on the top women's best extra small so i'm gonna go uh, i'm not familiar with this brand or what might be in here so i'm gonna go to my list here uh seamless leggings and they have a retail value of 49.99 the tags are on it and it's in um, a zippable plastic bag. Academics, AKA D E M I K S, size medium. It looks like a sweat pant or a jogger pant. I'm going to assume that's probably men's. It's not a brand that I'm familiar with. I'm going to look on the list here. Um, yeah, a gray sweat size medium with a $38 retail value. These are Hurley brand, but they also have a Nike dry fit on them. 
and they're an 18 inch volleyball short so it looks like a men's kind of um, dry wick short and retail value $55 so that's another men's item in here on my premium brands box Ranger Jersey Fox retail value $54.95 it's a t-shirt and it has a fox um, that's Ranger brand, I believe. And size, March. So not a bad size. Again, in men's, the bigger sizes are better as far as your ability to resell them. Draper James. These are a size 12. Looks like they have an original Kohl's tag on them here. Um, it looks like a white pant, and the retail value is $68 in the bag. Tags attached, which is really good on a white pant because you know you're not going to have dirt uh, or stains that you can't get out of those. <laughs> and again, those were in my premium brands. These are a Hurley uh, one and only short 20 inch waist 38 a $50 value so it's a men's tacky short Harley brand tags attached in the bag ASOS icon training t-shirt with quick dry in black size medium that's not on my list I think I got a freebie all right don't think it's worth very much I don't know under 20 bucks but it's a freebie okay this is billionaire boys club so it's a men's t-shirt brand is billionaire boys club it's sealed in this bag the best part about this is it's an extra extra large so that's a great size to resell kind of a fun graphic tee I'll have to look up um, the value on it the um, Retail value is $50, so it's rare or not available anymore, especially in that highly sought after size might do well. So again, another man's item. I think it's been kind of heavy for men's items. These are a CSG black camo jogger size medium. These are also men's and they have a tag for $45. So it's a black camo um, jogger pants. Not sweat paint material, more like a um, cotton material or like a dress pant material. I'm getting super excited because I just saw some lily print in here. I'm really hoping it's lily, but I'm not there yet. <clears throat> this is Chico's um, size 2 petite, a retail value of $129. It's called a cardigan sweater beach comber. Flame Scarlet Pattern Sweater. And it's got kind of, it's a lightweight, so I'm thinking it's more of like a um, spring uh, or late night on the beach kind of uh, cover-up almost feel to it. That's Chico's brand. It's not, the plastic is open, it's still in there, and it's got the tag attached. Princess Polly. The Geordie Top size four so it feels like a really lightweight I can reach in here just a little bit to the bag opening um, tags are attached can't tell a ton about it so I'm gonna have to look it up so it's a smaller size size four it is Lily I'm so excited um, size eight which is not a bad size call it knit squirt um, Borealis Blue Social Sunset, retail value of $88. It's a squirt. New in the bag with tags. That's a really good one, guys. Again, retail value $88. Express, size extra large. It's kind of a hot pink. Looks like a cami, maybe. I see some spaghetti straps here. Um, actually the plastic is open, so I'll pull it up here. Maybe a drape neck, new with tags. Really silky, really pretty color. 
this is a great brand for you all. Ariat jeans. Um, and size 31 long. That's another great thing. When you have tall sizes or long sizes, they sell great. So this is a woman's jean. Mid-rise straight. New with tags. Plastic on. I can't see a price on the tags. I'm going to have to go to my cheat sheet here. Um, $74.95 is the retail value on these jeans. But that's a really fast selling brand um, with the combination of it being a long size. So that's a good win. Uh, Alfani slit sweater tunic, size large. Retail value $69.50. Not a super great selling brand, but I mean, it's probably a good looking sweater or tunic. It looks like it's a black and gray stripe. So I might be able to find a picture of that online. Um, tags are attached and it's in the plastic. Another Princess Polly Amita crop top. So it tells me it's a crop top. It's an 8 US size off white. It's in plastic, tags attached. These Princess Polly bags are cute. Life is good. Oh, it's a North Face shirt. So um, if you can see faintly here, it says the North Face. But then it's got this little patch here that says, um, nature is good. And it's a size medium. It's a men's shirt, which I don't know about that patch and how well that's going to go on a men's shirt. It's $30 t-shirt and it's North Face brand, which is a good brand. Uh, medium is a harder size, but. Um, Abercrombie and Fitch. Uh, it's an extra, extra small though, harder size, um, $59 retail value. It looks like a black ribbed sweater, but let me see if it'll give me any hints without having to open it up here. Abercrombie and Fitch black ribbed top. So it is a, a ribbed sweater top uh, and it's a $59 value. Oh, Polly. Let me see if I can get the cheaper tag in here because it's already open. I don't have to put my cheap So it's a cow neck mini dress um, size 8. I'm not familiar with O'Pauly. Um, it's a very small item. So I think mini dress is probably an accurate description. I'm not familiar with that brand. So I'll have to look it up. It has a $54 value. Allison Daily, which is not a super exciting brand, but it is new with tags. It's a size 14 pair of um, elastic waist jeans, new with tags and in the plastic. I think that I've maybe hit my plus size because um, that was on my plus size list. So, Psychology, it's a biking jersey, a women's 3X biking jersey. So it has a retail value of $99.95. Um, and going back to those Allison Daily jeans, those were a $34 value. Um, this is a $99.95 value, a size 3X cycling jersey. Narrow customer base, but if they want it, they'll probably pay for it. There is something really red and blingy down here I want to get to. A Miracle Suit. Um, these are swimsuit brand, Miracle Suit swimsuits. It's supposed to make you 10 pounds lighter in 10 seconds. Um, this is a $126 value, U.S. size 14. Wah, wah, wah. Just the top, no bottom, which will be a harder sell. It's just a tankini top, but it's a really good brand and it's black. So someone could pair whatever bottom, you know, black um, with swimsuit bottoms and be easy to match up. So, it's a black size 40D. Glamorize is the brand and it's a bra. I think Glamorize is the front closure bras. Um, you can sometimes I'll see YouTube advertisements for them. Um, so this is a 40D um, plus size bras so well. And so this is um, new in plastic with the tights. 
Y'all, this is serious. Okay. Lagos is the brand. It's an evening gown. It's not in the plastic. It says size 44, which I don't know what that translates to. It does not look plus size though. It looks like it's more like an eight or a 10, just in size. Um, so I like the sleeves, they're fun, and the length is good. This is a little 80s to me though, so we'll just have to see. That's either gonna do great or not. <clears throat> Okay, Ashro, I don't know what it is, it has kind of a pattern like peacock feathers on it, so we're going to have to use our cheat sheet, and back on the Lagos, it didn't have a price, so let's talk about that for a second, that has a $158 retail value on that red dress, and then this they describe is an Afrocentric blazer, size 42. This is a men's blazer in the plus size. And 42 is not that big of a size in men. So I think this got thrown in the wrong box. So this is a men's Afrocentric blazer, size 42. Um, it has a high retail value. It's $109.99. So it's just finding the right customer. Fabletics. Bay High Impact Sports Bra. It is $59.95. I don't see a size on the tag. It's a 3X according to my inventory chart. So it's workout wear. Plus size workout wear. Fabletics is a good brand. Avenue. Um, so it's a little less expensive than um, Lane Bryant and Torrid. It's an older plus size company, more like a Catherine's. Um, but it is a bra, 46C. Um, it's a nude color, which is good, and it's called a back smoother. So I think those are all things that's going to help it sell. Um, it doesn't have a super high retail value. According to this, it's only $12. So not in plastic, but tags attached. It looks like it's a sports bra. The company is Yvette, which I'm not familiar with, but um, it's a gray plus size sports bra, super cute crisscross in the back. So I'm going to have to look into that one because I don't know this brand to see if it's it sells well, but it has a $42.95 retail value. So that's not bad. Another Glamorize. It looks like it's a white and gray sports bra. It is a size 40G. And the prices are not on these tags for these glamorized bras. Um, but this says it has a $60 retail value. I don't know if glamorized is something you just get online or if they're sold in stores. I'm going to have to do a little research on that. Uh, pretty Little Things. Uh, it is Bum Rip Mom Jeans. I know what that is. That means literally there's a rip across the butt. So that's going to be a harder sell. They're size 20. Uh, the mom jeans is a good style right now. New with tags in the plastic. Um, retail value of $58. And it's a, it's a UK size 20. So I'd say it's really like more a 16. A US size 16. Oh, it's an Under Armour V-neck just athletic shirt. So it's out of the plastic. I'm going to go on and help it here um, just so you can see what it is. It's a super lightweight lavender kind of see-through. Um, so I guess super lightweight and comfy uh, v-neck top. And that's an extra large. So I guess they're calling that plus size. Although as a woman, I don't think that's plus size. But... Um... It's an Adidas hoodie, pretty color. It's a pink Adidas hoodie, new with tags. It's a size 2X and it's got a $50 retail value. 
So a lot of athletic wear in this plus size. Some Fabletics and Under Armour. Adidas. <clears throat> Talbots. Talbots dress pants. A barely boot cut, full length. Size 14. Retail value of 109. Now it does have a clearance markout price on it, making it $89.99. Um, but the original retail value is $110. It's a navy, um, thick, nice dress pant. Good quality. Not in the plastic, but there doesn't appear to be any damage. And the tags are attached. 14 is a good size. Puma, so some more kind of athletic wear. This is a sports hoodie in digi blue, um, size 2X. It's $50, so it's a Puma hoodie. You can see it's kind of got the um, emblem across the front here, and it's a beautiful teal blue color, um, size 2X, and it's got the $50 price tag on it, and it's still in plastic. Mm. River Island is the brand. Breasted, Double-breasted button blazer, UK size 24, so probably a 20, um, size black, and again, it's got River Island button blazer, $139 retail value. So it's a black women's blazer, plus size, double-breasted. It's very heavy, so I could probably even be used as like a coat. More Fabletics, so lots of athletic wear in here. Um, it's a purple, looks like a quarter zip, no, it's a full zip, so it's like a jacket, a lavender jacket. Fabletics, size 3X, the color is Misty Lilac, and it's the Nixie Sculpt Knit Jacket. $69.95 retail value. Um, this is the last thing in the box, pulled it out too. It's The brand is Misguided. A cold shoulder mid-daxi dress. So I'm thinking that that's like mid-length long dress. Um, it's a green and black tie-dye. The print is pretty cool. I have no idea what this looks at like, so I'm going to have to find some pictures. It's a US 14, UK 18 um, cold shoulder dress. So I don't know how well misguided sells, but we'll find out. It has a retail value of... $19, so, wah, wah, wah. so unless it's highly sought after, um, probably not a super great retail value. So what's my take on the two boxes? Um, well, one thing to remember is your boxes are going to come, if you order more than one box, they're going to come together. Makes sense, saves them shipping because they pay the shipping. Um, but they do just seem to be packed separately, and so um, your stuff's not all mixed together. It comes in one box with one inventory sheet. Um, we'll go one by one. The plus size, because it's on the top of my list, um, there's a couple things in there, like the red dress. I'm probably going to have to end up donating that. I don't know that it's going to resell. It doesn't seem to be a high-end brand, um, but I could be wrong. I'll have to do my research on that. A lot of athletic wear, which I think is going to sell really well. Um, I might get stuck with that um, cycling jersey, but who knows? But all in all, the bra bras really do well for me. Plus size bras really do well for me. I'm definitely going to be able to make my money back. Um, on the premium brands bra box, um, there was lots of men, men's wear in there, which is fine. Uh, men seem to pay for what asking price for things. They're just a little slower to sell. Um, the Draper James is great. Um, Lily Pulitzer, that was great. Um, no question, I'll get my money back. Lululemon, Abercrombie & Fitch. There were some really great brands in there. So I would absolutely buy both of these boxes again. If I had a choice, I would buy the premium brands box again. Um, because there were actually some larger sizes in there and some really great brands in there. So if I could only afford one of them, I would get the $1,000 premium brand box again. Uh, but I would definitely make back my $250 on the women's plus size box too. So I will post some updates about how these things sell um, and uh, probably be a couple months just to give some things some time. I'm going to post everything on here. Um, I don't do real real, use the real real or 
Pred up or any other um, sites like that yet. So I try to sell everything myself, um, but as I run out of inventory room, I'm gonna have to donate or start using some of those other options. So I'll do a video in a couple months to update you on how things are selling. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like, and leave me any comments. Bye.